Okay guys, here we are again for tutorial, I believe to be 14. Sorry, it seems that we're going a little bit slow. The thing is, I'm actually trying to make sure that whoever is watching understand what's going on. And last time we finished here in the first name. And I hope you did this one. It's pretty much the same, the only difference now I have a last name variable here, right? So now let's let's go for the checkbox. So I'm just gonna have another if. Uh, for that one, I probably wanna, the things I wanna check is, um, probably if they don't if they don't put or male or female then i'm gonna tell them that they gotta put something right so yeah that's that's what we're gonna do so um here we go if um you gotta put male for the name yeah that was male if male uh that is is checked so what in the radio button uh, we're not seeing for space or anything we, we want to make sure that it's checked or not so I want to it's a boolean type in this case so I want to see if mail that is checked um, equals to false and uh, what was the other one female female that is checked equals to false uh, what you want to do with that? We just want a, a message box saying that they must choose one of them, right? So let's put here. Um, you must choose a gender. Okay, there you go. I could, well, uh, when you have like radio buttons, it, it'll pretty much take care for you of not making sure that well let me, let me actually test it here hold on let's uh, i don't want to say anything wrong or oh, saying that i have a problem and the problem i have is that i don't have a semicolon here so here it goes let's try that again so add student so right now if i do add student i'm gonna have missing first name missing last name you must use a gender okay good now i want to see if i can actually have two of them I can't you see so that actually handles for me but it's actually good for you to put that anyway something that will handle in case there is an error type of error where you have both of them here uh, checked um, and let's do that let's do that and let me actually fix what is let me get that R out of there I don't know what the R is doing there with the mail where are you Well, oh, I have no idea where the art's coming from. Let me go back here. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, let's check that later. Um, so if so, now if I have mail, uh, it's gonna be pretty much the same. Mail that is checked um, equals to true, and female that is checked equals to true, then let's put here you must choose only one message box that show. You um you must choose only one gender. Okay. Let's test it again. See if it will work. I have an error. Of course I do. And the problem is that I don't have this here. The cold, so after fix that, let me see. I this army is sticking me out. Okay, uh, so anyway, if I do a add student, missing first name, missing last name, it must use a gender. So if I actually put a name here, let's put here John uh, Baptist. And now this way you won't, I won't have any errors. I will have only errors for the gender at this point. You must use a gender. So now I come here and I choose a gender. 
now I don't have errors you see now I have to do something else for the GPA so let's do that for some for the GPA um, what I want to do for the GPA I mean for the GPA I must have a number right especially a float I want to use a, a method called try parse and if it parses it means that it is a number and then I'm good with it if it doesn't parse then it's probably a letter or something and and that's not what I want so um, let's let's actually declare a variable here so float um, uh, GPA okay just declare that variable there um, now what I want to do is uh, let me see what was the what was the name I gave to the GPA I think it was GPA but let's make sure you got to reload. Oh, I didn't give any name. So let me actually go ahead and give a name to it. GPA. And it's probably going to complain because. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I don't think it will. Let me see. Let me try to run it. Um, yeah, I have a hit error because of this guy here let's try to run it again oh I'm just saying that the variable was declared blah 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 uh, okay so if well I'm gonna have to change this GPA here I'm gonna put it here number float number so now the try parts are gonna use in this way so if Put here float that try parse. You see that show up there. Now I come here and I I look for the name that I had there in in my interface. That was GPA, right? So, uh, uh, GPA GPA dot text because I wanted that to be a text. But I hope that is a number right uh, comma and then put here out that's what you're gonna put here number so what it's doing is oh taking that the GPA dot text and and checking that out trying to parse that into a number this number here is actually this variable that I declared here okay so um, if that is actually true let's say if that is actually actually false if that is false, if I can't parse it, then what I'm gonna do is say you must put message box dot show um, you oh you must enter a number. Let's see if that's gonna work. So as you see, we're doing all the validation before we can actually do anything any database thing so here um, put here again John oh John uh, Baptist put a mail and I'm gonna put here an A and A is not a number so you must enter a number see that so if I put here one then I'm good okay so that pretty much what he did All right. Okay. Yeah. It seems that like the time is going. It's going really fast. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end here right now. Next time we will finally. Actually, what I want you to do, I'm gonna do it here, and I want you to do for the next time is also a GPA is usually from zero to four. So do a type of validation that's gonna make sure that the GPA will not be above four or less than zero. Okay. I'll I'll have that ready for next time. You, you know just use what we're doing here the way we're doing here try to figure it out a way and do it next time I'm gonna have that ready here for you though okay thanks guys see you next time